Hey everyone, I am Simple from Motion Tutorials and welcome back to my new After Effects tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to create 3D globe animation in After Effects. This tutorial is especially for beginners who want to learn the basics of After Effects. Now let's get started. First of all start with Illustrator, as you can see here this is my globe illustration. Before import this illustration into After Effects, make sure illustration should be a separate layer, it will be easy when you animate in After Effects. So let's open After Effects and create a new composition, let's call it 3D Globe Animation. Here I have an HD default setting, which is 1920 by 1080 with a 29.97 frame rate. The duration of 10 seconds is enough. You can change these settings according to your project requirements. Now it's time to import Globe Illustration in After Effect. Double click in the empty space of the project panel. And select Illustrator file. In the panel setting below, we need to decide how do we want to import this file as. It gives us three options. As we want all our layers to have a separate identity, we are going to select Composition, Retain Layer Size. It will create a new composition in the project panel. Drag this composition into the timeline and double click on it. As you can see here all layers are separated, so let's animate the globe, but before hide these unwanted layers from the timeline. Select the world map layer and then hold shift and also select a white background. Press ctrl plus shift plus C this is keyboard shortcut of pre-composition, let's call it sphere. Now go to effects and presets panel and search for the CC sphere, select CC sphere and drag it on the sphere composition layer. As you can see 3D globe created here, CC sphere option is too awesome for making 3D globes and it's easy to control. Go to effect controls and open radius option and then you can scale globe size by radius option. The second option is shading, put into 120 value in ambient, and next put into 0 value in diffuse. The third option is rotation, you can easily animate this globe by rotation option. Now let's add keyframes, go to effect control panel and click on rotation Y stopwatch icon button, and then select sphere layer and press U, this is a keyboard shortcut of hiding keyframes. Go to a few second forward and press N, this is a keyboard shortcut of the end work area, let's add a new keyframe. Here you can animate sphere by rotation value. Now select keyframes and right click on it, go to the keyframe assistant and select easy ease. Press 0 to RAM preview this. That's perfect. I hope this tutorial will be helpful to you. Now let's move to the next step, how to object track with globe animation. So first create a shape layer and go to add properties, and then select ellipse. Now open little arrow of ellipse path and increase scale value, and again go to add properties, and then select stroke. Select the shape layer and make duplicate, press center and rename it according to your understanding. When you want to depth in the object so first apply this 3D option. Now let's change this view option. As you can see here two views on screen, first one is active camera and second top view. Select front ellipse, when you hide this ellipse from the timeline, so that time you can't see in the active camera. Select top ellipse and press R, this is keyboard shortcut of 3D rotation, put the 90 value in X axis then again select front ellipse and press R. 
Hold Alt and click on Y axis stopwatch icon button and then drag Piquip tool on CC sphere layer. So as you can see, we have copied the rotation Y axis on front ellipse. So let's add in, star minus 1, at the end of script. Let's play if we are going right. Press 0 to ramp preview this. It's good to me. We are going the right way. Let's move to the next step. Here are some objects, which we have to connect with our globe. So let's first select all objects and press S, then scale down. 38% scale down is enough, now again press S. Select the yellow layer and hold shift, then select a green layer, align objects anchor point to the bottom side using by the move anchor point. Here we are going to connect the first object with the globe. So before hide these unwanted layers. Now select yellow layer, then apply on it 3D option. You can place this object to the center of the globe. Select yellow layer and press R. This is keyboard shortcut of 3D rotation. Hold Alt and click on Y axis stopwatch icon button and then drag pick whip tool on front ellipse layer. So as you can see, we have copied the rotation Y axis on yellow layer. So let's add in star minus 1 and then don't forget to connect with front ellipse by Pequip tool. Press 0 to RAM preview this. The process is not done yet, so let's fix this. Select yellow layer and go to top view, here you can see yellow object to the top view, drag the yellow object to the bottom side. Now again press 0 to RAM preview this. I hope you like it. Let's do some little bit adjustment with yellow objects. Do the same process with red, blue and green. So here I am going to fast forward this video for some time. Now let's hide front ellipse layer and top ellipse layer and go to top view angle and then select active camera. Also, change this camera views. Create a new solid layer and go to effects and presets and search for the CC star burst. Then drag this effect on solid layer. Go to the effect controls and you can change the value of CC star burst. Select this solid layer and drag it down. Press 0 to RAM preview this. Look awesome to me. Let's go to the window and select Animation Composer. The Animation Composer is a free plugin. If you want to download this plugin so you will find the link below in the description. So let's apply Animation Composer effects. Go to the transition presets and click on 2D layer, and then click on the scale. Drag this scale effect on yellow object make sure layer should be selected. Also, apply the scale effect red and blue layer.
Now let's little bit adjust the objects layer. Hope it is helpful for you. If you liked the video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, share your suggestion regarding this video. See you next time.